A win for Bernie Sanders in Kentucky's Democratic primary Tuesday wouldn't put him ahead of Hillary Clinton in the overall race to the nomination, but another primary loss could be a major psychological blow to the Clinton campaign. Joining us now, Joe Girth, a political writer for the Courier Journal in Louisville. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Happy to be here. Uh, tell me about the pulse on the ground. What are you hearing from not only voters, and also are you seeing the candidates having a, a big presence there? Well, we yes, we are in fact seeing the candidates having having a big presence. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been here a couple of times. Bill Clinton has been here several times. Uh, Bernie Sanders has been to the state once, and he's coming back this weekend. I'm in fact going down to see him uh, just after I finish this. Uh, and Hillary Clinton Clinton is coming back on uh, Sunday and Monday. So they are they are out and about. They are they are trying to round up votes. Whether they're succeeding or not, I, it's hard to tell. We've not seen any polling in Kentucky since early March, and that was before Hillary Clinton made the statements about coal that had got her so much trouble in West Virginia. Now she and Bill Clinton are trying to trying to uh, bring that back. They are trying to uh, uh, convince voters, especially in the coal fields, that uh, that she's not going to be harmful to them. And it's a, it's a big test for her. Bill Clinton won Kentucky by, with 71 percent of the vote in 1992, 67 percent four years later, and in 2008, Hillary won the primary here against Barack Obama with 91 percent of the vote. So you brought up, uh, and, and I want to, or at, le at least in, in some of the coal counties, uh, we're talking those huge numbers, uh, I'm sorry. And I want, for some of our viewers that may not uh, know about the statements that she made, I want to play the soundbite of not only the statement that she made, which you're referring to in West Virginia, but also mm -hmm. her husband in recent days, Bill Clinton, really trying to backtrack on that statement. Uh, I want to yes. play it for you and then get your reaction. Take a listen. We're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. Hill was the only person who said, I'll spend $30 billion to help you get on the conveyor belts of the future so we can all ride together again. And you can do that. We can bring opportunities to you to make a job and live where you love, but you've got to be there. I mean, I know you're saying it's way too early to tell, but is there additional fallout from those comments? Are you seeing that on the ground? Well, you know, you're not seeing too much of that in, in Louisville, where I am. Uh, and where I spend most of my time. Now, I was in Prestonburg, and I take it that those comments from Bill Clinton were from the Prestonburg visit they were. On, on Thursday evening. And he, he went in and, uh, with, the, with the idea of, uh, of saying, hey, we are friendly to coal. I helped you in this area when I was president. Hillary's going to do the same. He was introduced on stage by former Governor Paul Patton, who was a coal operator before he became governor, governor of Kentucky. And they're really pushing back hard. Whether that had any uh, effect or not, I don't know. All I know is that the booing from the miners who were in the crowd, and, and they were allowed to stay and continued to boo throughout, the, the, the booing subsided quite a bit by the end. I don't know if that's because they were simply tired of it or if, uh, if he was starting to win them over a little bit. I talked to one gentleman afterwards who uh, said, you know, I liked what he said, but he said, I'm still going to vote for Donald Trump in November because I just don't trust Hillary right. Clinton. You so, talk uh, I just want—I have one more question for you. We're unfortunately we're mm -hmm. running out of time. But you talked about the difference in voters between Prestonburg and Louisville. Talk to me right. a little bit about the complexity of uh, the voters there. I mean, there's 55 delegates at stake. Uh, what are the candidates up against? Uh, well, it's 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 hard to tell. I mean, exactly what's going on in 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 Eastern Kentucky. You have to think Bernie Sanders is probably doing pretty well, even though his policies aren't all that different from Hillary Clinton's. Uh, in Louisville, Hillary is going for the African American voter. We've got a significant African American population here, and also there are a lot of people in Louisville who have been longtime supporters of Hillary Clinton, who they are uh, the, they are going to be with her through hell or high, high water. And so we we are, we are seeing her try. Trying to, to 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 mass her forces, which uh, were were very important to her in Kentucky in 2008, and we're seeing Bernie Sanders trying to reach out to the uh, the disaffected voter, the uh, the Democrat who's not happy with the direction of the uh, Democratic Party over the years, and just the ones who have Clinton fatigue. And I think that there is a, a certain amount of that going on across the state. Sure. Well, Joe Gerth, thank you so much for joining us. Like we said, 55 delegates sure. at stake. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thank you.